morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning. It is 6.07 a.m. Feeling pretty good this morning uh, because I'm, it's Thursday, which means tomorrow it's kind of my Friday, or today is my Friday. And also, um, if, if this week is any indication of how events uh, on the phone are going to go, it's going to be easy peasy because <clears throat> I think I took five phone calls yesterday, maybe 10 on Tuesday, barely any on Monday. I've taken barely, barely any phone calls, which is fantastic. However, my performance was not up to par last week for some reason. Which is crazy because I did a butt ton of work, of written work. I know I did. I'm be asking for written work like every hour, which is like 10 an hour. I usually get about 10 an hour done. And I work 10 hour days. So you do that. I'm doing a hundred pieces of written a day just about I think I get about 80 in a day that's really good that's more than the average pe person my eye is watering I am not crying ugh I have dry eye in my right eye because of the surgeries. So it causes, it's just weird because when you have dry eyes, your eyes water excessively to make up for the dryness, I suppose, but it's the wrong tears. At least that's what my eye doctor told me. And sometimes it'll burn like you got not like you got something in it, but it just burns like, like you had something in it, but then you got some, you got it out, and it's that burning sensation after you got the thing out, which sucks, but whatever. And sometimes it'll be really bad where it's just constantly run, run, drip, 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 and you're like, oh, keep rubbing it. So I have to carry a, sometimes I'll have to have a, here you go. A napkin oh, or a handkerchief or something. All right, cat, cat, dog's got to poop. I'm going to let her out. We'll go back to bed. See you later. Hello. It's 11.33. I am just thought I'd, you know, I'm doing it down here because my water bottle was empty upstairs. I thought I would chit chat while I comb out or brush out my hair. Still need to clean out my brush. Out. You ever comb your hair or your ear? Because your hair gets, you know, stuck or something. Anyway, I had something to say and now I can't remember what it is. I don't know, I don't know, let me think I'm thinking. So while I think about whatever I was talking about, oh, I've been listening to, today, I was listening, I'm listening to, uh, Chilling Tales for Dark Nights, you know, a whole bunch of different stories, all kinds of stuff, hours of entertainment. It's just so good to be able to just listen to these stories. I'm loving it. Not like McDonald's, but I'm loving it. Yeah, I definitely recommend. Still trying to figure out how to get another free credit for Audible. My mom's like, as I posted on Facebook, I asking if anybody knows 
how to get free credits for Audible. My mom's like, rent from the library. Like, well, I can't, I can't keep those ones. Can't keep those books. Uh, yeah. And plus, I doubt they have what I need or what I want. If they did, if they had, you know, I never looked. I really, I didn't. I never looked. I have been, I have not had a library membership since I was a small child. And that's mainly because the internet came along. So when the internet came, there wasn't really a reason to have a library card. I didn't have to do my schoolwork by going to the library and researching stuff. And if I, if, and my school had a library in the uh, building on there, yeah. The library in the built in the high school, high school, not college. Or anything. Uh, so in high school, they had their own library. They had computers, but it was very limited access research because, well, at the time, that's just what it was. We didn't have, um, lots of computers because at the time they weren't accessible to a lot of schools and so therefore people like children um and also if they had them they were really restricted like you couldn't you, oh google was not a thing back in high school um not till probably oh man when did google no let me find out alexa when was google started on September 4th, 1998 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Yeah, 1990. 1990. 1998 is when Google was founded. Um, and so in 98, I was like, what, a sophomore? Freshman, sophomore, a junior, I think. No, I graduated in 2000, so I was a sophomore. Um, so it was, you know, no, I wasn't, I was a junior. I can't do math. So if it was this, it was in September of 98 is when it was founded. So yeah, I was a junior. Just started my junior year of high school. So that, that's when Google was a thing. So research was re our search engines we had ask Jeeves was the thing you know and that fell by the wayside because it well they didn't uh answer your questions as well as google had they didn't have as much search so what is my point i don't know what is my point of this conversation? I really do not know. I don't remember. It's just something I was talking about. So we started talking about what? The online book? Oh yeah. Mom said go to the library. And so now I don't know if the library gets, maybe they do, maybe they get audible books of, um, uh, newer books, you know what I mean? That would be pretty cool, because then I could just go to the library and rent a book, and if they get the Audible version, maybe I can like, just download it, and then have it forever or for free. Somebody did say that uh, the li you can rent things online from the library. So I might look into that, see if I can find audible books from the library. That would be great, because I would like to have a little bit more reading under my belt. 
And since reading physically is a challenge for me because of being half blind and all that, um, I figure audible books are the next best thing. I have listened to a couple audio, auto, audible books prior to uh, the one I just listened to, which was um, Book of Mythicality, Rhett and Link's book, Book of Mythicality, uh, which was the entire Harry Potter series. I was able to find that online for free, and I downloaded it to my old laptop, which I still have, I think, unless Russ did something with it, I don't know. Anyways, um, what was I doing? I should ask him because I don't know, it's not where I thought the thing was. Maybe it got put away. Alright, you see how nice this brush is just so awesome. Look how nice, smooth, no tangles. Awesome. Yes, tangle teaser. Get it at Ulta or online like from Amazon or something. It's $12. I have, um, I got this one from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. It looks very similar, right? The bristles look very similar. But if you look, this one, I mean, they do. They look almost identical. I don't know what it is, but these are softer than these ones. These ones are a lot stiffer. Um, I think that they work. It works, you know, as a wet brush, it works. But as far as detangling, I think the Tangle Teaser works better because the bristles are not uh, as stiff as this dollar store one. So they give they give more uh, when it gets stuck and it just kind of loosely detangles, <laughs> you know, it loosens the, whatever you call it, the, the knot, like it'll, it'll just loosen it. It doesn't go all the way through, like if it finds a snarl, which I don't have any anymore, but if it finds one, the Tangle Teaser won't rip through it. These bristles are not as flexible. That's the word I was looking for. As flexible as these ones are. Uh, so therefore, when this one gets to a snarl, it will grab hold of it um, and kind of not rip it through, but it won't ease through it like the Tangle Teaser does so as well. So I like the Tangle Teaser, but if you don't have like big snarls, you can probably do the get away with the dollar store one. So anyways, I'm gonna clean out this brush because you, and um, probably just gonna go back to, you know, listening to my stories listening to my stories. Also, I gotta put some product in this hair. I'll chat with you later. Good evening. Welcome to another bathroom dialogue. For some reason, my phone had been charged, had been plugged in all day, but it did not charge while I was listening to uh, YouTube. Very, very interesting. And, um, since that's the only interesting thing I have to say, I decided to say it on the toilet. Uh, so now I am done with the toilet. I will be getting up, plugging my phone in, watching TV. I have off tomorrow. So let's see what kind of mischief I can get into. See you later. Good evening. Shortly after 9.30, here's the kitty. Hello, the kitty. This is the kitty, and then there is the JJ, 
Here is the JT and this one poking in the face. So yeah, we didn't want to cook. Russ is always like, what's for supper? What's for supper? What's for supper? And I'm like, I don't want to cook. He's like, I don't want to cook either. And so I didn't cook. And then he's like, what's for supper? What's for supper? So I'm like, figure it out. So we ordered food. We got five guys uh, from Uber Eats. Um, you know, burgers, whatever. So that was good. And now, hey, look, it's Russ. See his face? He can see you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Well, we got five guys. We ate that. We watched Jersey Shore Family Reunion. And then now we're here. You're all cut up on this evening. Tomorrow again is Friday. It's my day off. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.